do it. So helping you keep a safe holiday home. You may not realize it, but there are some things that you do during the holidays that may be attracting thieves. Yeah, they are watching and waiting. Melanie joins us live with our News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, this morning. Mel, there are some simple things that you can do both inside and outside your home to protect your property and your family about it and you know you may think you live in a neighborhood a cul-de-sac and that you're pretty well hidden but criminals are looking anywhere they don't just need to see it from a busy street it can be coming into your neighborhood and directly targeting you so we do have our crime and safety analyst here ken jefferson joining us now you know ken you said you've noticed something where being really really sneaky they're sneaky and they're brazen you know I i've noticed that a lot of deliveries are being done by people who are driving their personally owned vehicles, or they call them POVs, and they're working for, you know, legitimate companies. However, there are those that are pretending to be delivery persons, and, and what they're doing is they're taking an empty box, and they see a box of delivery house, yeah, like this one. a legitimate delivery, and they're taking an empty box because they're in their privately owned vehicle. People expect um, this sort of thing to go on, and they're, they're ex exchange the box. They're taking your package. And, and you get home an and box. have an empty box. Absolutely. So you always want to try to coordinate your deliveries with your neighbors, uh, with your employer, or with another place of, of, of business that you, can, uh, that you can agree to have it delivered there as opposed to having it sit on your porch for hours for thieves to come and right. get it. Right. I mean, this is, a, this is more of an insulated area because there is the little alcove yeah, here. Yeah. It's, not, it's not perfect, but if you don't have any other options. It, it's not perfect. However, if you don't have any other options, you can't coordinated what you want to do particularly with an area like this you can have the delivery person to just conceal it just put it somewhere where it's not visible to to the person's driving back and forth mm -hmm. uh, that can look on your porch to see because there are porch pirates as we call them that drive around they follow delivery trucks they'll, they'll just drive around sometimes just to see if there are packages on a porch. And that's what they're looking for. You know, I do want to point out something because, you know, this house has a ring doorbell. And a lot of people think, oh, it's being monitored. I have the ring doorbell. I'll be able to see the person. But you might see them. But if they've taken your stuff, what are you going to do about it? You, you, you're, you're going to be able to see them recorded. However, uh, that's not stopping them. So what you want to do is, again, coordinate your deliveries with someone. Um, this is good for basically talking back and forth right. and seeing who's at your door when they're coming. But when you're away, it doesn't, doesn't really... do anything to prevent yeah, things from happening. Yeah, that security. Okay, Mark, I'm going to have you kind of go inside because we're going to take a look at inside that you may be doing that are not safe. So we walk towards the Christmas tree here. Um, we have some gifts under the tree. And, you know, in this house, you might think, okay, we're safe again. The tree is in the back of the house. And, you know, you can't see it from the street, but you said this is still risky. Yeah, a beautiful tree, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and you've got it beautifully adorned with the gifts underneath the tree. When you are displaying, your drapes are open. These are, again, they're very brazen. They'll come and look in your window and see what type of gifts you have or what type of boxes that you have that interest them. And when you're away, they're breaking your house and, mm -hmm. and taking gifts. So my advice would be, you can display all of this stuff while you're home, mm -hmm. but when you get ready to retire for the night, yep. close, okay. keep them, keep, keep, Keep it out of sight. If it's out of sight, it's out of their mind. They're not mind. thinking about bringing it in your house. All right, and thank you so much. So coming up at 9 o'clock, we are going to take a look at some simple things that you can do to actually deter thieves by parking your car in a spot and some other advice from a safety expert. So stand by. We'll have that for you coming up at 9.